Located in the town of Juni in New South Wales, Monte Cristo Homestead became the most haunted house in Australia and possibly in the entire world. The mansion was built in 1885 by Christopher William Crawley, who lived there with his wife until his death in 1910. His wife lived there for 23 more years after that until she passed away as well. Since her death, spirits of the couple have been haunting this place on a daily basis. The history of this place is even more terrifying than the current state of the house. Many people have died on the premises, ranging from newborns to older housekeepers. So many that it's impossible for all these stories to just be a big coincidence. It is said that a pregnant maid was pushed from a balcony by a ghost and fell to her death. At first, people assumed she had just committed suicide, but supposedly, ghosts pushing or touching people in the house is actually a very common occurrence. For example, one day a maid was walking around the house holding a little baby girl. She claims that as she was walking around the second floor of the house, a ghost grabbed the baby out of her hands and threw it down the stairs. Other stories from the house include a stable boy burning to his death as he was sleeping and a caretaker being shot dead. However, the most terrifying story is about Harold Steele. Harold was the son of one of the maids, and his father was allegedly Christopher Crawley, the original house owner. After being injured in a carriage accident, Harold suffered a mental illness, which resulted in uncontrollable aggressive behavior. Since he was too much to handle, his father tied him up in a cottage by the house and kept him there for more than 30 years. Local kids thought there was a monster in the house because Harold was screaming and howling on a daily basis. Visitors report hearing his screams to this day. Monte Cristo Homestead is currently owned by the Ryan family which offer tours of the house and even the possibility to stay overnight. After living in the house for a few decades, Mrs. Ryan realized she had a past life in the house. She thinks that in one of her past lives, she was one of the maids who worked there. She says that from the day she moved in, she knew this place wasn't just another house. As she saw the house from a long distance for the first time, it appeared to be thoroughly lit up even though there was no electricity to power the manor. By the time she came closer to the house, all the lights were off again. The family quickly realized that the house was haunted, and it's generally accepted that they are definitely not making it up, as many visitors back up their claims. Mrs. Ryan said in an interview, We don't have a single week go by without someone having a reaction to the house be it fainting, asthma attacks, hearing things, or even seeing full body apparitions. Today, there are multiple photos online that were shot in the house where you can see ghosts of maids or the former house owners. If all of this doesn't scare you off, or if you don't believe these stories, you should definitely go and visit the house yourself, take the tour, and even try staying there for a night or two. After you return, feel free to share your experience with us. If you have any other personal experiences with ghosts or you think that your house is haunted, tell us about that in the comments section as well.